Recognition. All of us want it. It's acknowledging you, or in this case, a company, is doing something right. Companies want recognition because it shines the light on success. Recognition offers the kind of fringe benefits that drive success, including the attention of businesses that need what your company offers and the attracting and retaining of quality employees. Recognition is a good thing for companies. The question is, how can companies generate the kind of recognition necessary to achieve business goals? Here's what John did. John is the owner of a manufacturing company a very good manufacturing company that's both innovative and forward-thinking. His company manufactures parts that improve the quality of agricultural products, keep our soldiers safe, and assist in the construction of roads, buildings, and other structures. John's company set the standard in manufacturing for cleanliness and maintaining a healthy environment for his employees. The company is involved in the community, doing typical events like food and blood drives. But John, being a visionary, saw a disturbing trend on the horizon and did something most presidents would not do, engage in a project that actually benefits his competitors. Sure, it does benefit his company also. However, most would do whatever it took to maintain a competitive edge. John saw the issue as a risk to his industry. Keeping it to himself may help his company stay competitive in the short term, but not over the coming years. So John worked with competitors, legislators, nonprofits, and suppliers to ensure his company and others would have qualified workers to meet the growing demands as the aging workforce retires. It's a good story, isn't it? John thought so, and decided along with everything else about his company, it could garner some recognition, both in his industry and in the state. John understood having a good story does little good if there isn't someone to bring it to life in line with the criteria for the competition. He needed someone who understood manufacturing, possessed the ability to write well, and knew how to combine journalistic skills with sales and marketing persuasiveness. Working with John and his team, I gathered the information relevant to the competition criteria. I spent hours interviewing employees, colleagues, and outside sources, uncovering the special nuggets of information critical in helping the company stand out from the other entrants. I combined this with photos to illustrate and embellish the words of the application. The whole process took about three weeks. Two months later, John attended the awards ceremony. He didn't really want to be there. You see, few first-time entrants win the coveted award. He noticed several other company presidents rehearsing their acceptance speeches, and John had none because he didn't think he would win. <laughs> well, that changed moments later when the master of ceremonies called out his company's name, and John, surprised and pleased, walked to the podium to accept the award. Your company can benefit from recognition like this, and I can help. Contact me to learn more. Until the next video, I look forward to reading your comments, and please share this with colleagues who you think would benefit from it.